Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now we haven't done an upcycling video for quite some time and I've been looking for a Welsh dresser and I've managed to find one. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upcycle it, how to paint it, um, really from start to finish. So if you wanted to um, find a piece of furniture and do it up yourself, then um, there'll be some good tips in this video for you. So come along with us and I'll show you how to do it. Now today we've got an upcycle video for you. We haven't done one of these for ages and ages and I've been looking for one of these units. We call them Welsh dressers here in the UK and I've been looking for one for so, so long. And where it is now is the position in my house that I'm going to keep it. I've got, um, a lot of you will know that I've got lots of teacups and things and I used to have a dresser there before but it was a bit big and I, I just love displaying them on there so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to upcycle it paint it in some chalk paint and basically what this video is for if you've been doing this before you've done it you know you've seen me do it time after time that's great but if you're new to upcycling this will be a fantastic video just to show you how to do it what you need to know um you know the basics really you can pick lots of bits of furniture like this up from um, facebook marketplace is really good and uh, there's auctions you can look on ebay there's loads of things like this that you can get and this is a really good one because it's really solid a lot of the old wooden um, items are really solid they're not really made like they are today and I just love the curved top it's like a Dutch style um, I just really really love that and this sort of shaping along here I just think it looks really cool so I've got some vintage with grace paint chalk paint and I'll just tell you a bit about chalk paint now it's out on the table outside I'll just go and grab it Right, we're just going outside. Incidentally, this is one of those, these rugs, I bought it from Home Bargains. It was 9 99 It's one of the garden rugs that you can get. And it's like, it's not like rug material. It's like a bit plasticky. And that's why you can use them outside. So I'll tell you what that is because I know I'll, I'll get asked. Um, so chalk paint. Chalk paint is really good. You don't have to prep if you're using chalk paint. And I'm going to be using the Vintage with Grace paint. Now, this is a fantastic paint. Also, the French Chic is a good paint. And so is the Fairy Chic Emporium. I know you can get the Rust-Oleum paint and various other makes. But personally, I would recommend one of the three that I have mentioned. Now, this is the Belgium Lace. It's quite a light colour, like a white kind of... Um, it's not bright white, but it's like a, a whitey cream colour. And I've got some brushes as well. So if you are using chalk paint, then you can get some different kinds of brushes. This is the one of the French sheet brushes. It's like a flat kind of brush and it does make it, it is quite easy to use. But generally, I kind of use this type of brush. Now, when you're putting chalk paint on an item, you don't actually need to prep it. Obviously clean it, and if there's any like um, marks and dirt on it, you can use either just warm soapy water, or you can use like um, sugar soap or something like that if it is really dirty. This is really clean, it came from a really clean house, my, my item. Um, so I'll just give it a wipe down, and I will go straight on with the chalk paint. You don't need to prep it at all, but you do need to seal it afterwards. So we'll go now, we'll start, and I'll show you the process. It's dead easy, and I can also show you some different techniques and um, tips as we go along. Right, so it is just literally a case of painting it straight on. This will definitely need two coats, possibly three coats and it depends on what colour it is you're painting if it's a dark wood like this one then sometimes it's three coats now i'll be doing like a shabby kind of effect uh, because that'll kind of go with my living room so all i'm going to do is paint the top part i'll stop there for a second i'm going to paint this top part and then i'll paint the bottom and i'll show you how i do the drawers some people paint inside them some people don't i'm just going to literally go all over this once let it dry then go all over it again with a second coat and i'll tell you how many coats i did in the end because it might be two or three right everyone we've got a bit of a slight change of plan and you'll find that this does happen when you're doing and upcycling and painting and stuff i've started to put the paint on and I actually don't like it. It's not going on the colour that I thought it would be and the finish is not what I wanted. So what I've done is I've popped to the Galleria, it's a local shop near us, because they sell this French chic paint and I've gone for the Cream Dream. It looks sort of yellowy on the, the um, label there, but 
it's not like that in real life so I'm going to change change the colour I'm going to put this over the top and um it's kind of it's it will make this paint go a bit further anyway because I've used this underneath so it'll be fine because these tins are not very big they're 750 mil so I should have plenty I'll have plenty in there to do the cupboard um also another tip that I wanted to tell you that I haven't told you if you've got some dark wood or something like this and maybe there's some oils in it or some yellowing comes through when you start and paint it on you can use this primer and stain remover and all you have to do well use it in a well ventilated area to start with um and all you would do is just spray it on like that and you can get some stuff to paint it on and that seals what's underneath so if you do you know you have got stains all yellow because sometimes when you paint over them they come through and there's nothing you can do no matter how many times you paint over them it still keeps coming through so this sealer is really good this was 10 pounds for this um can and you as i say you can get the tin which you paint on and i think that was 20 pounds for that tin so if there are any spots on this i'm going to go over it with the sealer as well but for now i am going to open this a little tip buy one of these little french chic openers can openers because they are really hard to get open otherwise so if you try and open this with a, a normal knife they're an absolute pain in the bum to open if you open it with these straight in they're so easy so it's a bit creamier than probably the paint that i've got but i just think i'm going to like it a lot more than what we've got now so here we go let's change the color right. let's give this a go and see what this is like these french sheet brushes are good the the galleria sells these as well but you can buy french uh, sheet paint online so let's just pop some of this on here it looks a really really similar color you're probably going to think i'm bonkers but i didn't like how the other one was going on and i like it to be how i want it i didn't like the finish of the other one so and because i'm keeping this myself i want it to be just perfect well shabby sheet perfect much better i'm going to start on the bottom half now and i haven't quite decided what i'm going to do with the handles i might keep them i did toy with the idea of taking them off and swapping them but they don't I mean, they don't actually go through all the way but i could um take them off and just maybe drill a hole through and put some new handles and things on but i'm not sure i might keep them what i'm going to do is take off take them off take all the hardware off just do an, undo the screws put them in some um bags so i can keep them so i know which is which and then i'll just start and paint this so i'm not 100 percent certain if i was going to change these and what i'll do is i'll just fill those holes in and then um, paint over them but all i'm going to do is to paint the front i'm not going to paint inside the drawer and um, sometimes this can make it really really hard to get like the drawer in and out if you paint in them also it's quicker lose it uses less paint it's not really necessary um i'll probably put some paper in there um just to line them but i am going to just paint the front of the drawer and i find that they work much easier and i'm not going to bother painting inside i'll just paint sort of around the edge here just going to do it in exactly the same way that i did the top that's drying now um and then i'll show you when i've got something else to show you now both of the units the top and the bottom have had probably three coats actually and i'll let it just completely dry so what we've got to do is we've got to distress it and we've got to put the transfer transfers on now the transfers that i'm using they are redesign they're the prima ones and this i thought this was so cute this is just me isn't it so it comes in three different pieces and what you can do is cut them up but you have to be careful now i've kind of worked out where i'm going to put them and what bits i'm going to put where i am doing some on the top part and i am going to sort of break that up and i've got some parts here i'll show you in a second where it's going to go so i'm going to take this rose out cut quite close to there and i think if i'm quite careful i can make it look like um 
it's not supposed to be stuck behind there, if you see what I mean, so I can separate it up. So there's three, they're absolutely stunning, they're just my cup of tea. I think they're really, really pretty and they're huge as well. Um, so if I can find the details for this, I'll put that down below so you can check that out as well if you wanted to. But if on the front, it's on a beautiful set of drawers, but they look so, so pretty. Now, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the hardware. I could not, for the life of me, get the screws out of this hardware. So what I've done is I've painted over them, bear with me, and I'm going to distress them possibly put um i'm going to be using dark wax on the piece anyway so i'm going to dark wax around it and probably gold the handles or something uh, couldn't help it couldn't get them off couldn't change them couldn't do anything with them so um and i didn't want them as they were so we'll do that i know i know it will naturally it will come off if i just leave them like this but i am going to distress them and we'll we'll do some other bits to them but I think that will be absolutely fine. So to start with, we'll start and put the transfers on. I want to do that before I distress because once I start distressing, um, you're going to get lots of dust. And although you can wipe it all off, you, I might not get it all off and it might not stick properly. So I'm going to put these on first. Then I'm going to distress it. I'm distressing it with the little sander, the mouse sander. Just one of these. And um, you can do wet distress with some, like a nap, uh, not a napkin, with a, a wipe, and you can rub it, but I want to, to do a bit of distressing, so I'm gonna use this, because it'll make it a little bit easier. But we'll start by putting the transfer on first. Right, so we're gonna start and put the transfer on now. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is bring it more to the front, because we've got, obviously, the back part that's going to go on there. Um, and I'm gonna peel this off, I know where it's gonna go. So it should be okay. And make sure that your paint's cured for at least 48 hours as well. So that goes where we think. And then what I'm going to do is to put a little bit of tape. Now this is not very sticky. Um, I haven't got any like green frog tape, but I've got some masking tape and I've just kind of put my fingers on it like that to make it less sticky because I don't want it to pull any of the, the paint off, but I want it to kind of hold in place. And within the kit, you get one of these little scrapery things. And this is the tool that you use to get the transfer off. So it literally, when you, you've got it where you want it to go, you start and get your scraper and you just start at one corner and you just rub it like that and what you're doing is you're transferring this pattern onto your um your wooden piece so go quite slowly don't rush it and as you do it kind of peel it back and make sure you've got all the bits don't like yank yank the top part off so this is going to take me a minute to go through and it should when it's done peel back just show you what I mean so you do that and then can you see you pull it back and you've got the transfer coming off underneath so I'm going to do that for the rest of it going very carefully and just pulling back slowly as you go and getting it all transferred onto the wood I'm just putting the stencils on this back part now um, and what I've done is I've split them up um, so if you can read French then it'll probably make no sense whatsoever but luckily I can't so I've just kind of put them where I think they look they look right um, this top part here this Paris um, I've put it off center a little bit because my original plan was to kind of put something off center down the bottom down here um, but that's not working so I don't know if I've got anything I can kind of put around this area a little something would be nice but if not it'll just have to sit a little bit off centre at the top so I'm splitting it up I'm going to take a bit more off this one as I say it'll make no sense but I can't speak French so it won't matter to me so I just want it to kind of look pleasing to the eye if that makes sense so 
I'll just finish doing this part and then I'll I'll do the bottom and then I've just got the bottom part on the actual unit to do and then that's that bit um then that's that bit done I've just done that bit there on that second shelf and that's the bit I need to do now um again I'm just going to take a bit off here I think and put that on it's probably not going to make much sense but as I said it will look cool right these are the stencils that are on now and I'm going to just distress it now but I'm going to quickly show you how I've put these on and what I'm going to do is use this mouse sander I won't leave it on very long I'll just show you down this section here a bit of a warning because it's probably going to be a bit loud so you just get your sander Again, as I said earlier on, if you want to do like a wet distress, you can just rub it with a wipe. That would work the same. Um, get your sander and you want to um, run it over in sort of certain areas. Depends how distressed you want it. Some people like it a little bit. Some people like it a lot. Um, you can do like the corners. You want to sort of get edges. You want to get the edges of things. Um, you can kind of go all the way along if you want. You can do a little bit, um, a little bit there. Um, completely up to you how much you do some people do the flat surfaces as well another thing you could have done is painted underneath a darker color like a black or a blue dark blue something like that and then sanded over the top and that would sort of then show through but um, I haven't done anything I've just got the kind of the natural wood color because it was quite dark underneath anyway so I'm going to go over it with the sand this mouse sand is really easy because it's just gets into all the little nooks and crannies um, so I'll do a bit of that and then I'll need to sort of wipe it down, get all the dusty bits off before we do the next step. <laughs> okay, can you see there? I'll just bring the camera in a little bit so you can see. Pull it down. It's going to have kind of that look to it. So I'm going to do the rest of it and I'll show you that when it's done because it's a bit too noisy. Right, now I'm going to start and put some wax on. Now, when you're using chalk paint, you need to seal the top of the paint because you saw how easy it was for me. Well, it was easy to, to scratch this off. If you don't seal it, it will mark, it will scratch, and it won't stay how you want it at all. So you have to put something over the top. If you use the French chic paint, then you can, if you want to, use the French chic furniture wax. This is a clear one, so you can put that over the top. They do all sorts of different types. They do dark ones, and they've got a white one as well. This is a really good make, and I really do like this. They do this in a dark, and they do this in like a, um, a clear as well. And this is what I'm going to use. Now, when this goes on, it's gonna you're gonna probably panic, and I'll probably panic too, but secretly. And we're going to make it look more distressed. Now, if you wanted to keep it, this look, if, you, if you're going for this look and you didn't want it sort of darker in places, then put over the top like a clear wax. That will be absolutely fine. If you want to distress it more, which is what I'm going to do, then you put this darker wax on and then we'll be rubbing it and we'll be sort of getting it into the corners. Um, now, these knobs, as I said, I have a little bit of trouble with them. Um, so all I did was sand them down a little bit so there's no what knotty bits on obviously they're going to that will come off if I just leave it like that so I'm going to put some of this dark wax over it get it in the areas and if I want to I might put something else over those as well I don't know but you often find when you're doing things like this you kind of just see as you go along um, I'm hoping this is going to look nice um, this is the clear the clear one and that you would put that over the top and then that kind of seals it in then you just leave it a little while um depending on you know the wax and then you'll be able to sort of use it and it won't scratch so you need to get yourself a rag now i've just got an old t-shirt a clean t-shirt here i'll just cut that up and the brushes um always mark your brushes because i've got one here this is a vintage with grace brush and i've just written dark wax on it just so I know that that's what I've used to kind of put that on because you don't want to get a dark one and then put light wax on and go down that route. So they're the things that we are going to use to start with and I'll show you how to apply the wax now. All right, so we're going to put it on with 
it's actually a bit hot and sweaty in this tin. And we're going to put it on with the brush to start with. And as I say, don't panic. It will be all right on the night. Okay. So we're going to put it on. Get it in the, in the corners. And we're going to rub it off. So it's not going to stay like this. But I want it to look darker in the corner areas. And then get your cloth and then we're going to rub it. It'll give it a different kind of look, a different feel. And in the corners, I'm going to leave it so it's a bit kind of darker. And I'm going to do this all over. So if you can see these bits here, it's a bit kind of grubbier looking, so to speak. And that's kind of what I want it to look like. Um, so I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to do this um, over it all. And um, it'll take a little while. I'll pay particular attention to the corners so I can get like darker bits on the hardware. And if I need to put some more on, I can just like, you know, put a little bit extra on. And this will just give it that real extra kind of vintagey look. So I've got the top part all done as well. And once that's done, we'll, we'll see whether the knobs need any extra attention and then we we'll, won't be far off done. And then um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going over the top with... So this clear wax because I want it a little bit lighter so I'll go over with the clear wax and then I'll just pull this down to show you just get a different cloth and just kind of rub it so you get the kind of the desired effect that you're looking for Okie doke, so it's all completely finished now. I just went over it with some clear wax over the top. It's all sealed and it's all fine and ready to use now. If you want to actually line the drawers, you could use some um, old wallpaper. You can go and get some wallpaper samples from the shop. I've got some Laura Ashley rolls when they were selling off their wallpaper. I think I just got some for five pounds. So I might put some of those in the drawers just to line those. Um, you could use some gilding wax or anything like that on the hardware. Obviously, I couldn't get my hardware off, so um, I've sealed over the paint. Obviously, I've distressed them, and it all looks absolutely fine. And if a bit does come off, it just in keeps in with the kind of the shabby chic French look anyway. So I hope I've inspired you to have a go. I'm going to show you the finished piece in one sh just one second. Um, I've got lots of different tutorials where I show you how to upcycle different things. So you can look around Facebook Marketplace. There's auctions. Maybe your family has some old bits of furniture that they don't want anymore you can reuse it upcycle it and give it a new lease of life um so i use transfers on mine but you can you don't have to use those you can use stencils and um, you can use napkins and in some of my previous videos i show you how to do decoupage with napkins and put those onto furniture and that's absolutely fine you can do that and it just brightens up you know furniture and just make gives it a little bit of something extra so um, if you're interested in that then have a look it's fine you know to do all sorts of different techniques and just start small you know just start with the basics and just kind of build up and sort of learn from there so i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm just going to show you now turn the camera around and show you the finished piece and hopefully you like it here we go so this is the top and if you didn't want to use the dark sort of wax you don't have to sort of go for that distressed kind of look but that was the um the look that I wanted to go for and those flowers incidentally are from Ikea if anybody's wondering and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out it's it's really nice and I like the the effect it's sort of like French and shabby and, and that's just the the effect that I really really like so that's it for me I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you're all okay and I will see you again soon you take care. Bye for now.